Well, as we've been talking about, Greece clearing may be the last major hurdle in its race to avoid bankruptcy. They persuaded enough debt holders to sign up for the biggest bond swap and haircut in history. Greece likes to make history. So once the world markets stop paying attention, what's life in Greece going to look like? When will growth there start growing again? For that, we are headed to Athens. Anastasios Economou is the founder of iGroup, investment holding company. He's also a YPO chief executive network member and a guy I had the pleasure of meeting and speaking with in Singapore recently. Uh, Anastasios, it's great to see you again. I wish it was under better circumstances for your home country. Is your home country out of the woods in the near term? I'd say that in the near term, yes, it is a necessary step, but not necessarily a sufficient step. Your economy is contracting at a rapid pace. Every model that we look at about debt to GDP assumes a certain level of growth. You, don't not, you not only don't have growth, you've got a contraction. Mm -hmm. When can the, can the Greece economy start to grow again, and what's it going to take to get it to grow again? I think we're going to start seeing that as soon as structural reforms really start becoming implemented. What we've seen so far is the government take action in voting uh, several measures. But the real key question uh, that people are asking here is when do we start implementing? PSI is out of the way. Uh, there is probably an election coming up within the next couple of months. And I guess people here are eager to say, let's leave that behind and let's get down to working. Business has to grow. Business needs to grow. But, but and that's you, what but we need. Anastasio says, you and I spoke about in Singapore, there is a liquidity crunch of epic proportions in Greece. If you wanted to start a company today, it would be next to impossible. Government sector jobs, which had been a growth sector, are contracting, if not just completely going away. Correct. So where in the heck is the growth, any growth, going to come from? Well, quite frankly, as, as we had this discussion, the only place this can originate from is the private sector. The private sector needs to be allowed to work on its own. And there is a key opportunity for Greece coming up this summer, which is the, the tourist industry. And by that time, we need to be able to allow the tourism industry to work and, and, and to flourish. Otherwise, unless this happens, I agree with you, the situation is going to prove unsustainable in the future, and Greece is going to be in the headlines again. Is Portugal, Spain, or Italy next? Will we see a similar type of haircut in one, two, or three of those countries, or none? I think everybody wants to avoid that. I, I, to be terribly honest, I do not think we can afford to have the same situation happening in these countries. The bigger the country, the more you are facing a systemic risk for Europe as a whole. So the answer is, is no. And what Europe has tried to do with Greece is ring fence it, isolate it, and make sure that we can now focus on moving forward. Anastasios, Economy of I Group. Anastasios, have a good evening there. We'll chat with you soon, hopefully under better circumstances. Thank you.